Anyone who's ever been on a plane going anywhere knows that there's a safety announcement that starts before the flight takes off. And part of that safety announcement is to remind all of us to put on our mask before we try to help anyone else. Leaders, are you wearing your mask? And the mask that I'm talking about is self-care. Hi, I'm Karen Mack, Karen Mack Management Consultants. I'm an organization development consultant. I work with leaders with, and groups and teams within organizations to work more effectively together. I also coach and I love it. And I'm Jackie Bashera, president of Dynamic Collaborations. I have a PhD in human and organization systems because I really enjoy helping the human component within organizations. Mm -hmm. I do organization development consulting and I also work as a coach. We're coming together today because we recognize through research and conversations with leaders that leaders are not taking care of themselves. Jackie, what's the reason, one of the reasons you think this is happening? You and I've talked about this offline, that there are a couple things that go into that. One is that what we're taught often, particularly if you are a female leader or you are, are a woman of, or, or a leader of color, mm -hmm. the message is your role is to be of service to others. And if you are in a traditional um, demographic that's white and male, that message is often, it's your job to take care of others, mm -hmm. to protect others. Mm -hmm. And so rarely is there a focus on taking care of yourself so that you can be in service to others. Oftentimes in our culture, our, our culture care, and we call that selfish as opposed to self-care. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How about you? What do you think? I think that people are just not aware of how stressed they really are. With this pandemic, it has added to so much, the things that they do, that leaders do every day, this pandemic has just exacerbated all of that. And people aren't aware. You know, when I was teaching stress management, one of the things I used to say to people is, you know, we become very comfortable with the uncomfortable and we don't pay attention. So that's one of the reasons why I believe leaders are not taking care of themselves, is that they're just not aware that they might need to do that. So what might be a step? If you're a leader mm -hmm. and you have a team and you want to be more aware, what's a step? First thing I would say is pay attention to oneself. Do a body scan. A body scan is simply taking a moment in a quiet place if you can find it, in your home probably now nowadays but take a take some time do a body scan close your eyes run down your body come down your body mentally notice if you're holding tension anywhere release it breathe through this process pay attention to yourself the more you are in tune with yourself the more you will be aware of when something happens and you're having a bigger reaction that's one thing i would do I do and coach on. Jackie, what's something that you would suggest? There's a saying that someone told me many years ago, and I love it, which is when the pain of the problem is greater than the pain of the solution, we'll begin to take action to change. <laughs> <laughs> and so one of the things that I would say is, uh, if you are a leader, what is your own personal pain point? Mm. What is creating a level of discomfort that would motivate you to want to change and then what is the smallest part of the change you can commit to we have a tendency to take on too many how many people you you know at new year's eve okay i'm gonna lose this many weight i'm gonna get in shape i'm gonna not procrastinate i'm gonna 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 yes. and then three days later you're like um what please <laughs> right <laughs> so if we can start small and then take steps toward that it signals to the brain this is important and it also helps us to shift our mindset so that we are more attuned to what we want to be different rather than what it is that we can no longer do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and what we're jackie is talking about and what we're both talking about really is mindset are we aware of what we're thinking are we aware of the stories that we tell ourselves consciously or not? Right. And then once you become aware, 
what can you do to move toward the goal that you want to move toward? Absolutely. Identify it and then move towards it. Yes. Now, one thing, Jackie, I think people may be interested in is, well, that sounds great, but how can we get some help? And we invite you, both of us, we invite you to reach out to us if need be. We're considering doing a series of short videos just to remind everyone of what to look for, what to listen for, what to pay attention to. Anything to close, Jackie? I'm just so glad that we're having these conversations because mm -hmm. uh, another saying that I love is, uh, joy shared is twice the joy, pain shared is half the pain. Uh -huh. So just taking the time to have these conversations, it's gonna make me do my own scan. Like, how am I taking care of myself? <laughs> and if we don't do that, we can't be of any help to anyone else. Exactly. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, Jackie. And thank you so much for tuning in. We hope this has helped. We'll see you again soon.